And it must be quite a challenge as well, because like every single forager that we're looking at, every big X that we're looking at on this line, will be a different specification to what the customer wants. It's possible, yeah. I'm a production guy, yeah. and I would like to have the same machine, same all the way like, down. like all the year. That, but yeah. that's not how the, 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 the market is working. Yeah, so yeah. we want to satisfy our customer, and if the customer says no, I want to have something different, so we are able to build it. Brilliant. So Thomas, we fast forwarded a little bit. So what's happening at this stage? Where are we up to now? So we were talking about the cabin. So it, 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 it looked already like a chopper. And what you can see here is the preparation for, for the motor, the, 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 the whole, um, I don't know how you call it, like... like oh, so all the emissions treatment up exactly. there. Exactly. Engine, gearbox. Exactly, with, with the engine together. So you can see how complicated it is, like yeah. I said, with, with hydraulics and, and, and so on, with the whole cables like, like put on the right thing that it's not only for for the the way no so it has to work on the yeah. files like with power just on just building up in layers and layers and layers exactly yeah exactly. cool you can really see the heart of the forager at this stage can't you? you can really see into it all the major components yeah we we need the space right the worker need the space to put everything in line and you can see how complicated it is so we need really qualified worker to put the right line to the right end mm. um, so that it works later on. Right? Exactly. And how do you keep uh, up quality? You know, what, what sort of quality control processes do you have along the way? We, we do a lot. So I'm still thinking in the 25 years of the chopper, we yeah. now have. So in the beginning, yeah, we did everything by hand, right? Yeah. So no, everything is about automation, where we can automate, we automate. It's about um, data collection and, and assurance of quality, not only in the end, we have our EOL at the end where we check everything, but we have to check it right now, because if we do yeah. a problem here, or we have a problem here, so later on, we can't correct it anymore. So no. we do it permanently um, to be able to have those different systems on hydraulics, electronics, mechanics working together. So it's a lot we do because otherwise we wouldn't have that uh, liability yeah. and quality um, I think we have with this machine yeah. outside. So effectively it's constantly being checked exactly. all the way down the line. Exactly. Because exactly. you can't really afford to get to that end and find a problem. 